Hi guys, it's Cindy, AKA Disney Queen. Today I am going to give you my monthly update, so stay tuned. Hi guys, it's Cindy, AKA Disney Queen. Um, you may have noticed that I took a week and a half off um, from uploading any content, um, and that's because January was a very difficult month for my family. Um, if you follow me on social media, you might already know, but last month, um, my husband's family lost three family members within the span of a week. Um, we lost a cousin on a Tuesday, um, one of our nieces on that Wednesday, and that Sunday, um, following, my husband lost his twin sister. It has been a rough month, and I just was not in a headspace to edit or do any videos. Um, I was really just trying to be there for my family. And um, so, yeah, that's what's been going on. Um, we did have, you know, some good things happen in the month of January, but for the most part, January was a very sad month in my family's life. And so um, I'm sorry for not keeping my content up, uh, but you know, there were more important things that was going on at the time. So, so the month of February, I had a lot of plans for the month of February, but I'll just be honest with you. I'm taking it one day at a time and we're just going to see how this goes. Um, I love doing YouTube. I love my Disney community, um, but this isn't my first priority. And so um, if you see a little um, slack or if you don't see me as uplifted as I usually am, um, It'll, you know why so uh the month of february so i have um a few videos that i had actually already pre-recorded that will be going up um, i'm going to try to keep it in the same order of um uploading on tuesdays and thursdays um i do have a magic mailbox um, video coming out i have a cook with me video that's coming out and I'm in the process of working on a couple of Disney videos. Um, the good things that happened in the month of January, because one of the things that one of my girlfriends and I have tried to do in the last month is even when there are bad times, we have decided that each day we're going to think of something to tell each other that we are grateful for or we're thankful for that happened in that day. We're trying to look at the um, positive side of things. Um, I will say this. The one thing that last month taught me was that you just never know when something is going to happen, when you might lose someone. And I would say to anyone, um, just love each other. <sighs> you just never know when the last time you talk to someone will be the last time you talk to someone. Um, if you have a grudge with someone, um, it's just not worth it. It, it. it is just not worth it treat each other with kindness um it doesn't matter who that person is if it's someone that you have loved in your life treat them with kindness show them some grace and some mercy and just um tell each other you love each other before it's too late and you don't have that opportunity to do that again um that is the one thing i would say i have learned from this last month i have made it a point of telling my children that I love them, telling my mom and my sister and my nieces. Um, and my husband, I just, this month has really, um, the month of January really just put into place what is a priority. I'm preparing for a possible trip to Disney World. I am. 
I'm really excited about that because it's been so long and I really do believe that it probably will be the start of next year or um, the end of next year um, that we try to take that trip. Even my husband has talked more about going back. Um, one of my daughters has talked about going back. And so I hope it, our hope is that if we wait until next year and go, that um, things will have calmed down a whole lot more. Um, maybe even the crowds would have calmed down a whole lot more. I mean, that is our hope. Um, so I, I'm still asking people like what would be a good time to go. Um, I don't want it to be too cold. So even though I'm looking at February, um, after the February, after the January we had this year. So here's the thing. We had a lot of snow here, which is unusual for us. Growing up as a child, I had snow all the time where I lived, but where I live now is near the ocean and we don't get snow as much. But we've had three weekends with snow. If you don't know, I love the winter time. I love the snow. I am not a summer person. I do not like the heat. And, um, but I'm in a minority with that because my family, hates the snow um, and I it will admit they have to drive in it to get to work so I understand um, but we've had snow for three weeks in a row and it has been amazing um, we got I think like eight inches like the first snow that we had we didn't get a lot of snow it was like maybe two inches if that it's snowing Probably gonna not be a lot, but I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. It's snowing. Look at that, guys. We have snow. We have snow. We have snow. And it's cold, and I'm going back inside. The second weekend that it snowed, we got like eight inches of snow i was like in heaven i just wanted to get out here and see the snow before people start walking on it and it is actually still snowing i'm not sure if you can see it on the screen but i got my snow i want to say we got maybe hmm three to four inches might be a little bit more than that further down but I got my snow. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This past weekend, we got more snow again, and that snow um, was about four inches. I still got out in it. I still played in the snow. I mean, that's one thing I do as soon as I wake up in the morning. Sometimes like I'll even wake up over and over again during the night and just go and see if it's still snowing and how much snow is on the ground. Okay, it's still snowing at eight o'clock in the morning. Ooh, not as much snow as the last time, but it's still coming down. I didn't get out here before TJ put his footsteps in the snow. It's still pretty. My porch is covered. All right, guys. Good morning. Yes, I love me some snow. And then um, later on, I went out and took pictures in the snow. And it's something about when the next day after a snowfall and the sky is sunny, bright, and this, um, it's this beautiful blue. Um, with everything that we had had going on, it just really made my day to be able to go out and just see the masterpiece that God can make. It just, I can't even explain how much joy that brought to me. last snowfall I even got my husband to come out briefly to take my picture because um, one of my friends was like okay I saw you 
um, showing your boots and your scarf in the snow, but I didn't see you in the snow. And I was like, well, I went out by myself. I tried to take a selfie, which I am terrible at. Um, and so I asked him to come out and take my picture, in which it was the funniest thing. Like he came out halfway onto the ramp um, and he took the picture and then he went right back inside. And I walked around in the snow for a little while. I think my son and I are the only ones who really enjoy the snow. Um, and then, um, but it was weird uh, when I took the picture of him standing, taking my picture, it dawned on me that seven months ago, he couldn't stand. He would, I would have to have wheeled him out and then he took my picture and then wheeled him back in. And I didn't have to do that this time. And him being able to get back up on his legs um, has given him that independence that he has been craving for so long. Um, and recently we did go back to his doctor. He was okay um, with everything, with his driving, that his leg looked good, that he was walking good. And he has released him for at least six months so he doesn't have to go back anytime soon. He One of them, you can you can pull it on inside out like this. I have more trouble with this, but a lot of people say it's easier. And you kind of you kind of position it so this you see that like kind of makes a diamond right there. Mm -hmm. You want that diamond to be where the kneecap is. And so you kind of get it there, and then just flip it like that and roll it up. I always have issues doing it this way, but some people like it. You just kind of flip it there. Yeah, there. Yeah. What I like to do is find it so again they, they have a bend to them right i think i showed you that find where that diamond is again that's where you want your kneecap in the back see the way it's flexed or the way it's sitting if you put it on backwards it makes it harder to bend mm -hmm. but if the knee's in the right spot that little diamond's where your kneecap is it makes it easier mm -hmm. so i like to find that get it centered a lot of times it should say auto block on the inside. You get between the O and the B. Put your hands in there and you just kind of flip it down. Find your O and your B again. And then you just stretch it over the wings. And then pull it down. Uh, okay. And then you can kind of just uh, pull it into position if it's a little uneven. So. Uh, it's an eighth of an inch shorter. Uh, I turn that foot in ever so slightly. Try that out. I'm gonna go get the rest of your stuff while you put that on, okay? He's squeaking. <laughs> Need a little adjustment. And your leg isn't off to the side anymore. I think it does that more when I need the side. Oh. What's that feel like? He's finished with his therapy, um, so he doesn't have to go back for that. So that has just made a world of difference for him and it probably came at a good time because he just was not in a head space to be going back and forth to the doctors um, with everything else that was going on. And so those are the things that I am grateful for. Even though things were really, really bad last month, there were just moments that um, were extra special. And I know for me, I need to hold on to those moments um, and take each day as it comes and find something within that day to be grateful for. If you are struggling, um, if you're having a hard time, I would suggest doing that. Um, I've never made 
kept a secret that I am a person, a woman of faith. Um, I've always said that, you know, that is something that is important to me. I don't always talk about it, but um, this year I'm just not going to uh, keep that, um, you know, uh, I'm not going to uh, act as if that is not a big part of who I am. Um, so just giving you fair warning. I will definitely be doing a talk with me video. That's probably going to come up next. I'm excited about some of the things that are happening at Walt Disney World. I know that that right now Disney World is getting like a mixed review from people. Um, I had a friend who recently went who loves Disney as much as I do. And she just said it was very hard for them, not because they didn't enjoy the magic of Disney, but because they um, have a daughter with um, disabilities and it was very hard for her um, and wearing the mask and all of that. And so it was a very different trip from what they were usually used to. And I know, I was talking to a friend recently and I said, I know for my family, um, we've always been a get up and go type of family when it comes to Disney. And I realize now that because of my husband's disabilities that our trip is going to look different the next time that we go. And I think I've resigned myself to that. And not because I think that's a bad thing, but because I think that I'm at the stage in life where I'm ready for my Disney trips to look a little different. Um, I think I want to just be more laid back with it and enjoy the moments. Um, I don't know if that has anything to do with my age. This year I will be 58 years old and I'm proud of, you know, making it to 58. Um, but I think that I just view um, time and life a little differently than I used to. And so... As much as I enjoyed the fast pace of constantly going, going, going when we went to Disney World, um, I'm looking forward to seeing what it would be like to relax and um, take my time and enjoy the small things and not um, worry about getting on that ride because I just have to ride that ride. I want to be able to take in the park in a different way than I had before. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm gonna share that process with you of how I think it's going to look different this time. Um, and so um, I hope that you will look forward to seeing that. Um, I'm trying to think, are there any more updates? Uh, I haven't seen my family since Christmas and I really miss seeing them. So. I'm looking and trying to figure out how I can go home like, at least for a couple of days just to see my mom and my sister and the twins because I do miss them and I think it would be good for us to get away. Um, my kids are doing well um, and I say that and it's funny. They'll always be like kids to me but they are grown adults living their own life. Um, uh, other than that, I'm trying to think. Originally, I was going to be doing a Black History Month video in the month of February, but um, the participants and I um, decided that we were going to set that back um, at least until March, so that will come out later on. Um, but then, other than that, February is probably going to be a very kind of quiet month uh, just because uh, we just need the time to just like um, revamp and get ourselves together. Um, so I hope that you'll have patience with me as we try to get back to a normal, as normal as we possibly can. Um, um, other than that, that's about it. This is probably the most sobering update I've done um, in quite a while. Um, but I, I am looking forward to the things that I hope to do this year. And so um, I just ask that you bear with me and, you know, hang in there with me. Um, I would love to be my usual chipper self, but I'll just be honest, I'm just not there yet. And so um, it's, 
it's like 6 46 in the morning as i'm filming this um i guess you can kind of hear my morning voice going on um but i just wanted to give you guys an update and several of you did send me a message i wanted to say thank you to those of you who sent me a message saying how sorry you were for our family's loss thank you so much um this community can be amazing um just like everything else you know there's sometimes there's drama but for the most part the people that i've met through this community have been amazing and i just want to let you know how much i appreciate you um how much i appreciate you just hanging in there with me um just just know i, I love this community i love you guys and i am excited about 2022 um it didn't start the way i thought it would start but we're gonna be okay it just may take a while so guys um like i said i know this is not my usual uplifting self but i try to keep it real um and so and you know this is what it is um but i am looking forward to the next couple of weeks of sharing content with you um so if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up um in the comments below tell me what you are grateful for i think i would really like to make that a part a monthly thing uh, because despite how things look despite how things are we do have uh, things to be grateful for and I think we should acknowledge that when we have an opportunity to before it's too late so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for and if you'd like to know when the next video will come out all you have to do is hit that little notification bell below so until I see you the next time guys have a very blessed day bye